We're trying to help Nick get his channel back into monetization, but I wanted to make this video because I need to explain to you guys what's going on. Hey everybody, Nick here, and uh, I'm here with George from Freedom, and we're kind of we're kind of figuring out this whole YouTube thing uh, with how they demonetize my channel. We're just trying to get that worked out, I guess. <laughs> All right, thanks, Nick. Hey guys, so I'm George, CEO and founder of Freedom. Uh, we're trying to help Nick get his channel back into monetization, but I wanted to make this video because I need to explain to you guys what's going on. Is YouTube being an evil master that's just <laughs> forcing everyone to lose money because they can? And, and of course, the answer is no. Um, YouTube is following their content quality guidelines, and sadly, some channels like Nick's are getting caught uh, not by mistake, but there is a solution, and I want to explain that to you so all the other music promo channels out there can also see that there is a solution. So on the right side here, I'm just moving my, uh, my window, my Discord window. You can see these content quality guidelines, and I'll, uh, the link to all this will be down there in the description below so you can read it yourself. It's part of the YouTube program policies, um, which was recently updated. So what's going on? Music promo channels are being caught by this thing called reused content and automatically generated content. Reused content simply means many copies of the same kind of content on YouTube. So imagine a music promo channel. They would have music that other music promo channels would use. Not Nick, but in general. And so when YouTube classifies a channel as a music promo channel, they put it into this bucket of all music promo channels and they typically YPP suspend it. One for reused content, the other for this automatically generated content. What does that mean? So you know how music promo channels normally work. They use a visualizer. There's some graphic that moves to the beat of the music, and it's usually a template created in Adobe After Effects that is the same template across all their videos. Or they may use like a static image from some royalty-free uh, photo library uh, uh, like unsplash.com. And that's also considered templated content. Why? Because it's the same video, just with a different image, each time. YouTube wants something called an imperative of originality. That's an AdSense term that they use for websites as well as YouTube channels. Basically, they want original content, so advertisers feel like they are getting value for their money, because ultimately, what is YouTube? A platform for advertisers to spend money on to promote their product. So anything that hurts advertiser relationships with YouTube is what YouTube is why YouTube creates all these policies to to make sure that their platform is healthy and profitable. So how does this hurt Nick? Well, Nick is classified as a YouTube music promo channel that is subject to these two policies. And so YouTube suspended him. What's the solution? So YouTube because they use this kind of blanket rule, they don't bother to check for permissions. They don't go to each channel and say, hey, Mr. Channel Owner, is this original content? Is this your music? Do you have a permission, a license for this music? They don't bother because they don't have the time. Remember, YouTube is a scaled business. They need to focus on things that algorithms can do, not people, so they could you know, continue growing to be the world's even bigger video library. So what does that mean? Well, it means MCNs become that take on that responsibility of getting to know each channel as well as c uh, collecting all the permissions to convince us that it's being done legitimately. After we do that, we put the channel into a managed CMS. This is the key. There's two kinds of CMSs, guys, affiliate and managed. An affiliate CMS means you are responsible for the content 100%. A managed CMS means the network like Freedom, is responsible for the content as well as you. But if something happens, YouTube slaps us <laughs> as an MCN because um, we are vouching for every channel in a managed CMS. So we're very careful about channels we put. Just to give you a sense of how many, we only have a couple hundred channels in our managed CMS, but we have several thousand channels in our affiliate CMS. So Nick is now being invited into our managed CMS because... Nick has convinced me, and, and Nick, correct, correct me if I'm wrong here, Nick has convinced me that he creates original music that he doesn't copy from other people. Is that right, Nick? Yep. <laughs>
So, uh, I mean, Nick's a great guy. I just met him recently because his channel was YPP Suspended, and he does make original music. Um, I, I think it's awesome, the community he's created. I mean, the post he made on his community tab got like 750 likes and uh, lots of comments because he was letting you guys know uh, what's happening. So I'm hoping this video will also uh, be well received by you guys as a way to explain why YouTube is doing this. They're not the evil company that many of you may think they are. They're just trying to protect their business and they ha they've given a solution which is uh, move a channel to a managed CMS so that the network, in this case Freedom, vouches for it and then it's safe from YPP. So the main difference between an affiliate and a managed CMS is all channels in managed will never get YPP suspended. At least they haven't since all of these YPP suspensions started uh, back in March this year. Now, YouTube may change that policy. You never know with YouTube. But at least up till now, there have been zero YPP suspensions in a managed CMS. What happens in a managed CMS, however, is that if... Um, if you upload a new video, Content ID will scan it, but it won't auto-claim it. So in an affiliate CMS, you upload a video, Content ID scans it. If it detects a match like for music, it automatically places a claim, which are these third-party claims that uh, redirect all revenue from a video to that claimant. Let's say it's a Sony Music that's claiming your uh, audio that it detects in your latest upload, then Sony makes the money from your video, not you. In a managed CMS, Content ID will still scan the same video, but it won't automatically claim it. It gets routed for manual review, so Sony or whoever is the claimant has to have a human verify that this video in fact uses content from Sony. Because there's this thing called fair use, guys, right? Even if you're using copyrighted material, if you're doing it for review, educational purposes, you're like a news show or you're like a movie review channel, that's fine. Those should not get claimed because of fair use. So a human needs to make a decision for any content ID claims in a managed CMS. Those are the two main advantages of being in managed. Um, and does this help? I mean, I hope it helps. If you have questions, ask them in the comments below. If there's a lot of questions, maybe we could do a follow-up video. But I hope I've answered everything. Nick, do you have any questions? <laughs> um, not really too many that I can think of, but it's just, I, I don't know. I just, I find it a bit, um, I, I, I don't really know what the word I'm trying to say. But yeah, um, even some of the remixes that I do, it's like, you know, um, let's say specifically the main content that I do is of the game Undertale. Even okay. the creator Toby Fox has given, you know, permission that you know even these fan remix things can are you know they they have permission to basically sell this stuff on all the platforms, and it's kind of like uh, like what just gets me is just like you know I'm not taking any of this original stuff, no any of the original content, and just you know just like reposting it. I'm spending so much time just like recomposing and making all of it you know like something that's mine something that you know right. it takes you know like a week just to like get maybe one song out because it's just i, I don't know it's just i i just love doing what i do and it's just i don't know this whole thing has just been incredibly stressful on me just because <laughs> i already have a lot of my play but let me just say you know thank you george for helping me out with everything you know Thanks for helping trying to clear this up and just I'm, I'm, I'm very appreciative. Thank you. Yeah, Nick, and I, I thank you for that. Uh, but to, to reiterate, it's not that YouTube doesn't care. It's they don't have time. It's not in their business yeah, I, yeah. model to have staff who check channels and get re make relationships with channel owners. They've given that job to MCNs, to networks like Freedom. Yeah. So it's, it's our superpower as they called yep. it when, when I was uh, at YouTube Enterprise Day, which is like a, a gathering of MCNs that happens every year in Singapore. They said on stage, you MCNs have one superpower, relationships with the creators. So they're pretty clear they will never go to try to make relationships with creators, uh, but they expect us to. And by doing so, they've given yep. us that superpower to be able to uh, vouch for channels and put them into managed so that channels don't get subject to these suspensions because YouTube just won't spend the time to understand the context. That's the key word that they like, context, 
of a channel. Yeah. Like what makes it different from all these other channels in this bucket of music promotion that they've identified as bad for advertisers? So, yeah, I was so impressed when you told me that you spend a week composing each track that you then, you know, lovingly publish on your channel. Uh, that's amazing. Like that, that's commitment, man. That's, <laughs> that's how you spell like, you know, devotion and passion. Well done. Yeah. Oh, oh man. <laughs> well, so thanks everyone. Yeah, I, I hope I hope this also helps other music promo channels understand why YouTube is doing this and the solution for it. And Nick, you know, you're a great guy. I've just known you for a short time, but yeah, I hope we can build a relationship and friendship over time. I, I respect what you do, what you're doing. Yeah, well, thank you, thank you so much. I just, oh God, I, I can't thank you enough. <laughs> okay. Thank All right, guys. So we're signing off. Yep. Take care. Much. Bye. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.